And um, so ask me any question really about, about learning and where learning's going. I'm trying to find some things to illustrate. And we've got, we've got plenty of time to do that. So um, who, would like to, who would like to ask the first question? Okay, so it's just school libraries, I think, are, are really interesting. I, I, I got myself into trouble in America because um, I was asked on a radio um, program if you had to if you had to lose the head teacher or the librarian, which would you lose? And I said, well, I'd, I'd keep the librarian every time. I think the role is really important. Um, and libraries, I think, are under some pressure. At least. <laughs> it's, um, and, and of course, what, what librarians have done is to be able to parade people's use of information. They, you know, they, what, the internet does really badly. It doesn't do time very well. The internet shows you now, but you don't, you don't have that narrative of time. You know, I've, I've been putting together some old, some of my old websites from the 1990s. You know, and it's been, been really quite hard to recreate them. What librarians do well is build that narrative. Um, look, I've got a little diagram here. with me about so I find this really useful to um, think about the if you think about the the online environments in terms of um, me we and see so me is my stuff my space things that I know we are the things that, that maybe we're sharing together as, as a class working together or we're sharing as a family or we're sharing as a group and C is what we make available to the whole world. And me, we and C really important concepts in terms of online learning. And then what people want to do is that annotate information. You want to just pass comments on it. Sometimes you want to build a full narrative of information and uh, other times you want to just join points together and say, oh, this point joins with now, when you start thinking about the, the online environment, um, you see that there's some quite big bits missing. So, Facebook does a really good job of we. I have Facebook friends, I've got my Facebook friends, which is nice. And you, you have that sense of community of who's doing everything. But I don't use Facebook for my own stuff. I don't put you know, my notes for a talk or I wouldn't put it on Facebook. Um, and Facebook does a nice job of annotating. I could say, oh, I'm back today. People will say, what's it like? Is it busy? But I can't build a narrative um, in Facebook. There's no sense of a story in there at all. Um, me, you know, I might, in a book, I might just write margin notes in the page of a book. And you've probably seen things like I annotate and let you put annotation with your own little margin notes and PDF files and so on. You start to realise that a lot of that world's missing. Uh, you know, there isn't any easy way of a group of us building a narrative on shared resources, for example. But one thing you do know is that, that all these spaces will be filled. So, if you're thinking what's the next big thing, you know, in education, it'll be here and here and maybe here. I don't think e-portfolios are as good yet as they're going to be. So, you get that sense of what's really what's going to happen now. This is a long way of saying, what about the librarian? You know, well, what librarians do is they do all these functions. You know, they build that annotation of maybe posting notes or margin notes. They build that narrative of, you know, you come to me and say, I'm looking for a book on central people force. I'm interested in Newton's fourth law. And you say, well, I'll tell you what they found useful last year. It was really helpful. So you're sort of offering that. And then, so the year before, they didn't really try that. It didn't work very well. but. Here's what, here's what they were trying to do, and it didn't work very well. So you build that narrative, and then that sense of that sense of threading of saying, well, actually, um, well, they're doing centripetal force. There's a, there's a chap over here. Well, actually, there is a chap over here building a rocket car. They, they can see the thrust rocket car in the show that they're building. Well, the interesting thing about the thrust rocket car is it's got uh, metal wheels because it's going to be on a thousand miles an hour and the tyres would would just expand too much to force the tyres would get too big and throw off so you can't have rubber tyres at all on it so you know there's a so you're, you're building this sort of thread of joining up points now the only thing I know that does all that is a librarian so libraries are hugely important but I go into school libraries that don't 
like store children as well. I think a good school library would always have 30% of its content would be the work of previous students. Uh, and I go to libraries that don't, you know, when you go into a good bookshop, they have a little little comments on the shelves. It's not the, you know, the people that work there say, oh, we really enjoyed this. If you really enjoy, if you enjoy Norwegian detective stories, you'll like this. Or if you enjoy Swedish travel books, you'll like this. The little comments. School libraries don't have enough of that, of that annotation. Uh, in, in so I think there's a lot to learn. And also, I think this country we're struggling to get enough money to support, to support our libraries. We, we're, most of the libraries in Britain will be shut within three years. I think, so, you know, so you think, well, that's a disaster. Uh, and most of our school libraries are struggling, and many of our bookshops are closing. Then you think, well, wait a minute. Combine the three together, something quite interesting would happen. I was in a, a bookshop in Oregon in Portland, uh, Portland um, nine months or so back. I went into this is the biggest shop, the biggest bookshop in America. Two thirds of the book was second hand, so it's very interesting. If you wanted to buy a book on data visualization, you buy the new book or the older book or the really old book or the book that lots of students are used and. $25, $20, $5, please take it away. So that, 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 that bookshop has become a library and has become a coffee bar. And so I, I think there's a time for fresh thinking in all this. I think as money gets tight in education, and it is getting tight, or as we need to do it differently in education, we need some fresh ideas. So this is a very long answer to your question about libraries. I really believe passionately for libraries, but I think they could look different. And I'll show you one last picture, just frightening, really. So this is a university library at a, at a British university. And there are three things you'll notice not in it. <laughs> no books, <laughs> no technology, and no students. So, this is what happens when you think the only function of a library is to store the text. Because a library is a social space as well. And for many of our schools, it's a place where people can experiment in new models of learning. It's a place without time, the bell doesn't keep ringing, you don't have to keep moving. It's a mixed age space, it's a project based space, it's a place for immersion. And all those are characteristics of 21st century learning, third millennium learning. So, a library, I think, is a very important prototype for future learning spaces. If, you, if it's only about books, then this is what the future of a library looks like. It's a bad future. Long answer.